Yeah, this is a second tutorial on the difference between uh, an equation, a linear equation, or any equation actually, where um, you might get no solution or all real numbers. Uh, there's, people get confused as to, you know, how do you know if an equation, and uh, like I said, any equation, it doesn't have to be linear, but this one is particularly on uh, linear equations. How do you know the difference? So anyway, we have three types of solutions, and this is um, I'm going with what most books use. Um, first type is a conditional solution, and that's exactly what you think. It's a solution like x equals three, or x equals you know negative uh, whatever two fifths, or x equals you know zero whatever some sort of unique solution. So a conditional solution is uh, a solution where uh, by it's the only solution for a particular equation. Okay. When you solve an equation and it has no solution, you end up with something like zero equals four, and or something like negative three equals seven, or something, or something like that. But the point is, you can't tell by just looking at the equation. You have to come up with some sort of contradiction um, and the contradiction can be anything. Okay, You might end up with 4 equals 10. Once again, uh, no solution because you get this contradictory statement. Okay, So uh, all real numbers though is different because you end up with something like 0 equals 0 or 4 equals 4 or negative you know two-thirds equals negative two-thirds so notice how and for no solution in all real numbers you don't have any variables you end up with some sort of um, either in this case the no solution case you end up with uh, a contradiction whereas here for all real numbers you end up with an identity and it, um, for all real numbers you might actually end up with something like 4x equals 4x okay and it's when you have something like that, the reason it's all real numbers is because if you substitute a number for x on both sides of the equation, um, it's always going to work. So no matter what x value you have, for example, right here, no matter what x value you substitute into that equation right there, both sides are always the same. Whereas in no solution, no number will ever work. There's no value of x that will make that equation true. So let's take a look at two different examples again, one with no solution and one with all real numbers. And so we can see what uh, the difference is. So here's an example, and here's a basic linear equation. Okay. And let's go ahead and just solve it. Like I said, you don't you can't tell by looking. You have to take the necessary algebraic steps to figure out whether or not there's no solution or all real numbers. So in this case, uh, we're just going to solve the equation like we normally would. We have some parentheses, so of course we're going to use the distributive property here. Okay, And we have some parentheses here, so we'll go ahead and use uh, the distributive property here again. So after we go ahead and distribute, on the left side of the equation we're going to have 5, and be careful with that negative, okay? So 5 minus 8x and minus 2, okay, distributing the negative 2, equals negative 4 plus 12 minus 8x. Okay. So now we can go ahead and combine our like terms, just like you would a normal equation. I've got 5 there and a negative 2 there, and on this side I've got negative 4 plus 12. So if I go ahead and combine my like terms, I've got 5 minus 2, that's 3. So I've got um, negative 8x plus 3 is equal to negative 4 plus 12 is 8 minus 8x. Okay. So now if I go ahead and take another step to simplify my equation, I'm going to uh, add 8 to both sides, excuse me, I'm going to add 8x to both sides of my equation. And notice what happens when I add 8x to 
of my equation. When I go ahead and do the arithmetic here, I get 8x minus 8x. Well, that's just 0. And I'm left with 3 equals negative 8. Well, that's a contradiction. 3 doesn't equal negative 8. So this particular equation has no solution because we get this contradiction uh, down here. Okay. So once again, you're just taking all the same steps that you would to solve an equation. You can't just tell by looking. It's what, you, what happens when you get there uh, that tells you when there's no solution. Okay. So in this case, this equation has no solution. So let's take a look at another equation. And you know where this is going, obviously. But pretend you don't know. Okay, So we're going to do the same thing we normally do. We're going to go ahead, if there's parentheses, we're going to go ahead and use the distributive property. Okay, And be careful with that negative. we got to subtract everything here, as we always would. So... Now notice I didn't add 8 and 5 first. Remember, um, that's addition. Uh, multiplication always comes first in your order of operations. So this gives me 8 and minus 5x minus 10 is equal to negative 5x minus 1 minus 1. Okay. So remember that negative here has to distribute as well. So now, once again, I have some like terms. I've got 8 and negative 10 on the left. And on this side, I have negative 1 minus 1 again. So when I go ahead and simplify this, I get negative 5x. 8 minus 10 is negative 2. On, that's the left side. And on the right side, I get negative 5x minus 2. Now, at this point, you notice both sides of the equation are exactly the same. So pick any number you want. You can pick x is 1 or x is 2 or 3 or whatever. And if you substitute any x value, both sides of the equation, uh, equation is always going to be the same. That's why we say all real numbers. So Because any number will work. Pick a number, any number you want, substitute it into the left side, then substitute it into the right side, and both sides will be exactly the same. But suppose you don't know this. I mean, let's going back to what we I talked about earlier, let's just finish solving the problem. Okay? So suppose I add 5x to both sides. Plus 5x. So if I add 5x to both sides, I get negative 5x plus 5x, that's 0, and I'm left with negative 2 equals uh, 5 minus 5 once again is 0 and on the right side I have negative 2. Well negative 2 equals negative 2 that's not a contradiction that's a true statement okay so in this case because this is an identity a true statement we have uh, an equation where any number works so we'll say all real numbers once again, if you don't believe me, pick a number, go back and substitute it into the original equation, and both sides will always be exactly the same. As opposed to what we have uh, back here, we had no solution. Okay, because no number will ever work. Okay, because that's a contradiction. Okay? So we have three types, like I said, there's always three types. We have a conditional, that looks ugly, like there we go. We have conditional, no solution, and all real numbers. Okay. So once again, conditional is when you get an actual x value. No solution is when you get these contradictions. And all real numbers is when we get this identity. Now, if you really, really want more practice, you can visit our website. Totally free, you don't need to sign up or log in. Okay, all you need to do is you just go to this uh, URL right here, www.chaotix.com. Let's see if you can see that. Okay, uh, you don't need to do that, it'll direct you. So, www.chaotix.com. Okay, and once you get there, you can go to the interactive tab. So, go ahead and click the interactive tab. 
and once you get to the interactive tab there's some tutorials we've written once again you don't need to sign up it's totally free but in the case of uh, this particular tutorial what you want to do is if you want more practice there's five different sets of linear equations click the multi-step equation level three Okay. And what we have here are a whole bunch of equations that you can go ahead and use to practice uh, solving. Okay. Now, if you're on, and you got to go to level three if you want practice with no solution and all real numbers. Now, what happens is if you go to right here, notice it says all answers for level two why there be no solution or uh, INF which is infinitely many solutions so if you click here level 2 what you'll see are 10 equations that come up you probably can't see it very well on this but when you go to the website you'll see so 10 equations will come up okay in level 2 and all these equations because you're in level 2 will either be no solution or all real numbers okay so and you can do as many of these as you want every time you click level 2 a new set of 10 problems will show up so you can sit here all day if you really want to and just uh, do problem after problem until you get uh, a good understanding of, of the difference between no solution and all real numbers so hopefully this time uh, this video will, uh, helped a little bit more than the last one because the last one I just annotated and uh, it caused a little bit of confusion which I knew it would um, and for those of you who commented, I have bad penmanship. I'm fully aware that I have bad penmanship. I never, ever had good penmanship. I always got terrible marks in grade school for my penmanship. So that I already know. Um, so if hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, uh, I do take emails if you need uh, some clarification on uh, this type of equation or any different one. So you have any questions? Uh, Feel free to email me and let me know. Otherwise, hopefully this time this video helped out. Thanks for watching.